The Ghanaian authorities have started demolishing house homes of refugee camp housing for thousands of Liberian migrants. Now, the affected migrants who now face eviction have been lamenting over this situation, with many of them living with their families, uh, and they could be displaced with nowhere to stay. Now, more than 100 hectares of the occupied um, land by the uh, migrants have been earmarked for demolition. Though some experts believe there is a need for humanitarian intervention. Let's have more details of that in this report. Mwazu Kurama fled Liberia during the Civil War when he was 21 years old. He resettled in this refugee camp in Budumburam in Ghana's central region and says any attempt to move back to Liberia has not been successful. He went to Liberia about 16 years ago but could not stay and had to return to Ghana. The war happened in such a way that it was somehow mixed with tribal sentiment, religious sentiment. For us, we are Madingos, predominantly Muslims in Liberia. So when I went back to Liberia, I could not stay in my own home. Those that occupied our land, they were there to make sure those lands that are occupied, the owners should not actually come to embarrass them. Mwazu is married now and has three sons, all born here in Ghana. He fears his family will soon be displaced. Local authorities have begun demolishing houses in this refugee camp to reclaim the land. I could not take anything from my house when they came to demolish it. I even collapsed that day and my children had to drag me out of the house. The United Nations High Commissioner of Refugees, UNHCR, set up this camp for Liberian refugees who fled the First and Second Civil War about 34 years ago. It is home to more than 40,000 people. In 2012, the UNHCR declared the end of refugee status for Liberians meaning the rights of people in this camp were no longer protected by the refugee agency. They had to be either repatriated or integrated into Ghanaian society, but that has proven very difficult. So the landowners have started taking steps to get back their land. More than 100 acres of land at this refugee settlement have been marked for demolition. Local authorities have urged residents to evacuate but the people here say they have nowhere else to go to. Experts say there is a need for a humanitarian intervention. We still need to give them the needed human right protections that they deserve like any other person around the world. I think that we should not allow the place to be overtaken by private ownership or people making demands that the lands belong to them. I think the state must be at the forefront of these uh, confusion and, and help us to unravel the puzzle. Ghana's Refugee Board says it is taking steps to register those who fled Liberia and is considering relocating them to another camp. We are appealing to the international community to come to our aid, to come and rescue all. Mwazu Krama and many Liberian refugees hope help comes soon to protect them from losing somewhere they've always called home.